In this video, we are going to solve a radioactive decay problem. And the question says, a certain natural decay series starts with uranium-238 and ends with lead-206. Each step involves the loss of either alpha particle or beta particle. Deduce how many alpha particles and beta particles are given off. So how do we go about a question like this? So they are telling us that we have uranium-238 and atomic number 92 transforming into lead-206 and atomic number 82. And we need to determine the number of alpha particles and beta particles that were given off. So... Let's see how we do this. Now, we have to know that the particles here, we have only alpha and beta. So what is the nature of, the, of these particles? So alpha particles have a mass number of four, an atomic number of two. So what this means is that anytime we have a radioactive nuclear giving off an alpha particle, it is going to give us a product that would decrease in atomic in the mass number. So in the case of uranium-238, so for the mass number with uranium, we had 238 and that of lead. is 206 so we need to find a difference how much of alpha particle will give us this change in the mass number so we'll put the subtractions and here we're going to have 32 so we can say that we have a difference in mass number of 32 so how do we account for this using the alpha particle? So, you know, in order to determine how, how much alpha particle was given off to have this change in mass number, we need to divide it by four because anytime we release an alpha particle, there's going to be a decrease in the mass number by four. So we need to find that out by dividing the 32 by 4 and if we do that we're going to have 8 we're going to have 8 that means that for uranium 238 with atomic number 92 to give off an alpha particle and a different element which we want to call X with um, mass number of 206. 206. That means that we need to have 8 of this. We need to emit 8 alpha particles. And if we do that, that means that we can have the mass number changing to 206 because anytime we emit alpha particle, mass number decreases. And if you also multiply the 8 by the 2, which is the atomic number, then we'll be expecting that the, the atomic number will also drop from, from 92 to 76. That is, if we subtract 8 times 2, And then we subtract the 8 times 2, which is 16, we're going to have 76. That means that this element is going to have atomic number 76. So we need to find out what is going to happen to give us um, the, right, the right atomic number of lead, which is 82. So usually, when it is about alpha emission, then we'll be looking at the mass number. But when it is beta emission, then we can now consider the 
the atomic number. So we have beta particle 0 minus 1. Now, because of this minus 1, anytime beta particle is emitted, we are going to expect that the atomic number will increase because no matter what happens, we need to balance the equation. So anytime we emit uh, a beta particle, the atomic number of the resulting nuclide has to increase. So in this case, in this case, what that means is when we take the 82, which is what we are expecting, the 82 of lead, so atomic number, number of lead is 82. And then that of this unknown element is 76. So atomic number of X is 76. So we, we are trying to find out how, how many beta particles that can be emitted to give us the atomic number 82. So what we need to do is to subtract the 76 from the 82. So when we have 82 minus 76, we're going to have I'm going to have 6. So that means that when we have x206 and atomic number 76, when it give off a beta emission minus one zero and then we are supposed to have let PB two zero six and atomic number eighty two that means that the beta particles emitted must be six and notice that when you multiply 6 by 0, you're going to have 0. So it doesn't have any effect on the mass number. But when we multiply 6 by negative 1, it's going to give us negative 6. And negative 6 plus 82 is going to give us 76. So in either way around, we still have the same number. of, We still have the atomic number balance and then the mass number as well. So the answer to this question is that we're going to have... 8 alpha particles and we will have 6 beta particles emitted. So I hope you get the answer to your question and please check our playlist for more related videos. Thank you.